What's up guys, welcome to another review from Sneakerhead213. Today we're going to be reviewing the Nike Air Max 90 Safari. This is a size 9.5. The uh, suggested retail price is $160, that's what I paid. Um, these came out back in October 3rd of this year. So um, here they are guys. The Nike Air Max Safari 2020 release. Very cool shoe. Um, I really liked how it looked online and in hand it just looks pretty good and pretty close to what it looks online and in the pictures that you see online um, so let's get to it so oh, also guys you do see the stamp here for quality control in case you guys bought it from resellers or something and then right here you have the quality control sticker as well and here they are guys so uh, let me first start off with why I bought this shoe so I'm a big fan of Nike Air Maxes ever since I was in high school. I just like how comfortable they are. Before Boost, this was the go-to shoe for comfortability, in my opinion. Um, so that's kind of how I have pretty much got introduced to this silhouette. But um, yeah, I really like this one because of the cement-like printing here on the upper and all around the toe box. And then I also like the leather here, how it looked online. And honestly, in hand, this is pretty good leather. It's pretty premium feeling. Um, it's not tumbled like a Jordan, but it's pretty close to that, you know. Um, and it has a small little perforations, just like the Jordan. I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the Jordan Three um, has these little perforations on the on the uh, toe box, so it's pretty cool. Um, another thing, I also like the colors that they chose here: the bright orange. Um, I think it's a bright orange. What's the official colorway on this? They're calling this the safety orange. <laughs> So safety orange and the black and the white and then the uh, cement print on here or safari print, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, so one of the first things you notice on the toe box here, you have that black leather with those small perforations there. Very nice quality, very um, soft to the touch. Also, you will have here around the toe box, you have this cement pr uh, print or safari print with those um, uh, black and gray colors patterning there which looks pretty cool has kind of like a reptile effect probably why they call it the safari honestly kind of reminds me of like the lunar lunar release with the moon print on it um, and then the laces here as well to match the uh, the uh, print there which is pretty cool um, they probably should have made them orange it would have kind of you know to me in my opinion it would have kind of comp combined all these colors together a little bit better. The tongue is your nylon tongue with the OG branding there. Pretty cool there. And then you have these shoelace holes here in that safety orange. And then you have the Nike swoosh there in standard leather and white on both sides. And you also have this piece of um, Nubuck, all black Nubuck with the Air Max branding there and that safety orange. And then as you get towards the back, you see the branding there as well with the safety orange and the Nike in black. And you see this um, nylon or um, <clears throat> yeah, nylon material here, which is pretty cool. And then on this side, the same thing. Finally, we get up to the midsole. It's black and uh, some of that safety orange here where the air bubble's at. The air bubble is orange as well. On the inside, you just can't see it probably on this video and on the back black and then some more orange and black to finish it off on the outsole we have some cool combination of black and safety orange with your regular air max 90 outsole um and then other than that i mean that's pretty much it guys let me know your honest opinions i give this a 9 out of 10 um i know this is not everybody's cup of tea it may be too wild for some of you guys it may be too loud um, but I like it, um, and they're comfortable. I, these Air Max 90s never get old to me. Um, I still have a few uh, pairs of my own in my closet. Other than that, let me know your opinions. Follow me on IG at Empresario underscore 317, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.